if you want to use autofill columns to help you uh, better classify your data in Microsoft 365, but you were blocked because your information governance architect wouldn't let you, I have some good news for you because autofill columns now support managed metadata. In a recent update to the documentation, Microsoft said that autofill columns now support managed metadata with term sets containing up to 100 terms. If a preferred term or synonym matches, autofill columns will respond with the preferred term. Now, some of you might be wondering, wait, Vlad, is that actually new? I thought we could do it before. And this is where it can get confusing for many people because uh, for the past two or three years, Microsoft did have um, AI or in reality, a machine learning uh, based option to automatically add managed metadata to SharePoint Online. And if you had pay as you go set up, whenever you configured a managed metadata column, you would see that option to automatically tag documents with terms. It did have some limitations. For example, you could only have max five columns per library and things like that, uh, but it worked. Uh, the big problem that it had really was that it did not use the latest in artificial intelligence. It was based on machine learning rather than a large language model. So when Microsoft did their latest presentation about document processing in Microsoft 365, they had it under the past generation of tools. You see, there is taxonomy tagging. So a lot of my clients were not too excited about investing in it. And autofill columns until very recently did an amazing job, but we could not make sure that it uses the company provided terms. This is what changes right now, now that we can have autofill columns with managed metadata. But enough slides, let's go see it in action. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm a SharePoint site here, let's go and actually create a brand new document library. Uh, so I'll call it here, I'll do invoice test as an example, great, let me click on create. And of course, I'm sure if you are here, you have already seen that uh, we can add, for example, autofill columns on a text uh, column over here. Uh, but before we add our managed metadata, let's add this one over here. Let's just add a document. This way we can test it. What I want to do is in my SharePoint Online Admin Center, in my term store, I do have a term set over here for clients. So I wanna make sure that when I do my reporting for my invoices, all the clients always have the same name. So uh, what I can do here, let's go to content AI, let me add a column, I will choose managed metadata and then click on next. I will add client here as the name of the column and you see I have type managed metadata. Now, this is where it's a bit confusing on the user experience side. You see, I have my automatically tagged documents with terms. This is the old taxonomy tagging that is automatically enabled. However, let me turn on autofill over here. And you see when I turn on autofill for a managed metadata column, my automatically tagged documents with terms is now grayed out because you don't want to have both at the same time. Let me go and select my client's uh, term set over here. Let's click on save and let's do a prompt here. Let's just do, we'll make it simple for this one. Uh, please extract, extract the full name of the client from the invoice. There we go. Let's click on test and hopefully it should be Fabricam, which is one of my options in here. Now, the beautiful thing is that imagine that you want to make sure everything is the same. Our terms can have synonyms. So, for example, here, I can add a synonym for Fabricam and be able to say, you know what, uh, this can also be Fabricam Inc. or things like that. So, I can go to English here, edit, and I can add, for example, Fabricam Inc. 
as a synonym, for example. So this way, whether it's Fabricam, Fabricam Inc., things like that, it will always end up being Fabricam when it's tagged, which will make sure that your content is always of high quality. Also, what is cool, if you have an open term set, you can also allow uh, autofill columns to create new values. You can choose if you want that or not. Of course, it's up to you right now because I have an open term set. It's on by default, but I can decide that I do not want it. It's really up to you. Let's click on save here now. Uh, let me go and actually go ahead and go under autofill columns and process this specific document. And let me upload a few others here so we see it working. Something that I want you to see, you see I have this PDF here, which is a uh, plural site. Uh, and this one, I have plural site ink over here, but I do not actually have it in the term store. So if everything goes well, and remember, it can take anywhere from 30 seconds to a few minutes until uh, everything is processed. But hopefully, it will check that uh, plural site ink is not part of my terms and it will add it in there. Uh, there we go, Fabrican, the one that I added before has been successfully tagged. That is pretty amazing here. Uh, let's go check, make sure it's the good one. You see, it actually uses managed metadata tags. Uh, something that I want you to remember for this demo uh, or for this feature is that right now it seems to be limited to only 100 terms. and. For a lot of you, 100 terms might be a lot for things such as a department, fiscal year, things like that. And for some use cases, well, it might not be enough. So just a limitation to know about for now, but I'm sure Microsoft will invest into increasing that number in the future. Uh, by the way, if you enjoyed this video and uh, you want to always stay up to date with the latest in Microsoft 365 document processing and AI, uh, make sure you subscribe to Vlad Talks Tech on YouTube. Uh, this way you get notified of the latest Microsoft 365 features. Uh, now let me go here and let me give it a refresh, see if it processed already. And there we go. By the way, I used a new autofill activity tab where you can monitor progress. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, but you see one column processed, one column fill just now. That is pretty awesome. And it tagged everything properly. If I go to the plural site one, if I go to the details, let me go over here. Come on. Come on, SharePoint, load for me. Well, while this loads, we can also go verify it in the term store over here. I will do a quick refresh. And if I go to my term store under clients here, I have plural site ink that has been added by autofill columns. And then there we go. You can see here it is a proper term. Uh, you'll also see here that I have Woodgrove Bank that got added. That is perfect. Let's see here if everything is good. Yeah, everything is awesome. It found my three clients here, tagged them properly. And for the one that was not there, it added it to my term set. So this is it for this quick update, just showing you how autofill columns can work with managed metadata. If ever you want to learn more about autofill columns, really learn about the basics on your screen right now, you're going to have a video that showcases autofill columns and until the end of 2025, you can try it for free. You'll have a link in the description below showing you how you can do this for free inside your tenant. So see you there.